Hi guys, it's Claire. I'm so excited to be filming this video for you today um, because as you would have seen from the intro, I have been chosen to be part of the UK Scrap Addicts design team or creative team for this year. So I'm absolutely thrilled about that and yeah, can't wait to make some process videos for you. Not only is it brilliant because it means that I'm promoting scrapbooking in the UK, which is fantastic, but it means that I am going to be forced into doing process videos and those of you that have followed me for a while know that I have been trying my hardest to get process videos up for you but I just don't have enough time. Now I'm on this design team I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to put a process video up for you once a month so it's going to get done for you. <laughs> Um, now what you've just seen there is a cut file that I made. Our theme for this month was Sparkle and we also had that free star cut file to play with as well. So I cut both of those on my silhouette machine out of black cardstock. Um, the star cut file, you can see there I've done a backing to it. The bit that we got free was actually only that front outline, but I created a backing because at this stage I thought I was going to make a little um, sequin shaker pockets with those. You've also seen me pull there some green glittery cardstock, a white piece of cardstock, and I've shown you the two photos that I'm using, which are two photos of Sophie, my daughter, at her prom a couple of years ago. I chose those photos because they just worked perfectly with the sparkle theme. She's wearing a really sparkly prom dress. Um, it was completely covered in green sequins and just, yeah, complete sparkle. So as soon as I knew this was the challenge, I knew I had to do these photos. It had to be these photos. So I'm just trimming them down there, ready to start working with. You've also seen me gut the middle out of that green sparkly cardstock which I'm now using obviously to put my photos on top of. So I saved some of the middle and reused that to back my photos. And this layout takes a little bit of a turn for me. As I said, I thought with those little stars, I was going to be all very clever and make little sparkly shaker pockets in there, but it completely goes off track and I don't do that at all in the end. Um, now I'm working on my background here to start with and I've pulled out some acrylic paint from my stash. I've got a light green and a dark green. I did pull out the white as well, but actually didn't use it in the end. I thought I'd mix it and make some different colours of green, but these two were just fine. I'm adding lots of water to both of those. I'm going to give them both a really, really good stir and then just add some green splatters or flicks, paint flicks over my background. And as I say, I'm stirring them up, adding a bit more water, making it really quite loose. And going to start adding my flicks. Now this is a great way of just jazzing up a plain white background. If you don't want to leave it white or, or boring and you don't want to use patterned paper, just add some paint. This is a, a really effective thing to do and it, it is just acrylic paint. You can pick it up really cheap anywhere. This was a De La Rone paint but any acrylic paint will do. So I've done with the dark green, adding a little bit now of the lighter green. And I just keep going until I'm happy with, with how many flicks that I've got on the back there. You do get messy fingers doing this, but, but that's fine. That's, the, that's part of the fun of creating. So I'm taking a look now, seeing if I've done enough. I actually decide that I want to, to add a little bit more. So you'll see in a minute I go back in with the green again, with the darker green again. And add some more. And with the lighter green, there you go, it was the lighter one. So we've got a few more light green splatters on there. Oh, and dark green as well. <laughs> Lots of splatters, all the splatters are going on there. Okay, now I've finished with my splatters. I set that aside to dry. And we're back to my green glittery frame. So my splattered panel is now dry and I'm going to adhere that down using my Scotch ATG gun onto my glitter. Let's 
that's it and turn it around to exactly where I wanted it so now we've got our background made and it did warp slightly but not enough to worry about that was just where I heat set it if you'd been patient and just left it to dry naturally you wouldn't have had any warping at all okay so I'm happy with how that looks I'm now going to back my two photos just using some some cardboard just some recycled cardboard um, obviously you could use foam adhesive here, foam pads or some foam sheets, but I like to recycle when I can. So bits of cardboard that I get like this, bits of old packaging and boxes always get saved and used in my scrapbooking. So now I start to think about the placement, um, where I want everything. I know I've got my two photos going on there um, and I've got my, my sparkle word. And I've also got that star cut file. So I'm just eyeballing everything, considering my options and, and choosing where I want everything to be. Initially, in my head, I had the title at the beginning. Um, initially, I had the title going at the top, but I end up switching it round completely. So the title ends up at the bottom. Now, this cut file was all these stars aligned, as you can see it there. But I decide at this stage that I don't like it. Um, lined up for this page it just isn't going to work it's too heavy just being a line of stars so I decided to just cut a few apart and use a few of them separately if your photos have been smaller it would have been nice to have the whole line of stars but for these size photos of my title it just wasn't looking right so I decided to just cut individual stars off and use them around my layout now I'm still thinking here that I am going to make these into little shaker pockets and have sequins in them so I also do the same cutting down with the solid black background piece that I've got as well. And you'll see that in just a second. And there we go, so I'm cutting the individual stars off. So they're going to be the backs for my shaker windows. So now I take some time to start figuring out um, exactly where I want my letters to be and I actually need to neaten them up a little bit as well. You can see there they haven't cut brilliantly on my silhouette. To be honest my blade needs changing. It's it's actually very thick cardstock that I've used. I think that's a 400 GSM cardstock and my blade isn't the sharpest at the minute so I had to do a little bit of trimming and cut out the insides of those letters just to neaten everything up. I'm now sticking my title down, the sparkle part of my title down. I'm using my T-square ruler to make sure it's all nice and straight. The glue that I'm using in my fine liner bottle is just a Aileen's Tacky Glue, which I water down very slightly in the bottle just to help it flow a little bit easier. There you go, you can see me just neatening up that little bit on the sparkle there and sticking it down. And I'm happy with how that, how that looks. I think that's a really good size and it looks nice on my layout. And I'm just going to stick the top part on so we've got that born to sparkle, sparkle all lined up nicely. Okay, well here's where I decide that I'm going to stick my photos on, or I get my placement for my photos at least, and it's where I figure out that I actually, I'm not going to make those stars into little shakers, I quite like the open look of the stars here, so I decide just to slip them in and keep them separate and not, not make the shaker windows as I thought, just tuck them in behind the photos, so I decide just to add my glue to those and stick them down.
we go. Now we're just adhering our photos on. So again, I'm using that Aileen's Tacky Glue. This is the jumbo size bottle, but it is exactly the same as what I put into, put into my fine liner bottle. And as I say, I just add a tiny bit of water when I add it to the fine liner bottle. So it makes it a little bit easier to come out of the, the fine tip. The nice thing about using that glue is you get a little bit of wiggle room there so you can adjust the photos to exactly where you want them. Okay, now to add even more sparkle to the page, I've pulled out a selection of sequins. We've got some from Pretty Pink Posh and I've got some little silver stars and also just a random pot of sequins that I've got but I knew that they had some green in there. So I'm going to take my time just to stick loads of these little sequins in the green tones around the page in a mixture of sizes and in a mixture of colours. And I will cut a bit out of the video in a sec for you here because save you the bore of watching, there you go, watching all, all of those sequins being stuck on. But that is it, that is my final layout. Um, really love the way this turned out. I didn't actually expect it to expect to love it that much. I was really worried about getting back into making process videos. I'm glad I've done it. I love the layout. Um, and as I say, I'm really thrilled to be part of the UK Scrap, Scrap Addicts team. So yeah, hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've put some close up videos at the very end here for you to see. Thanks so much for watching guys and I shall see you again very, very soon. Bye.